Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. My name is LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a very simple lifestyle vlog where I get here every morning and I try to uplift, encourage, and inspire as many people as I possibly can. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am the divorced mother of three adult children. I have two boys and a girl. I am a United States Navy veteran. I'm also a surgical tech. I am disabled and I work full time here now from my home. I am a hustler. That's right. I'm a hustler. I get up every day and I work. I do something for my YouTube channel every single day and I love what I do. I love to help people, uplift people, encourage people and talk about the love of the Lord. That's right. So this is my new intro. So here I am, <laughs> and if you like what you see, click like, share, comment, and come back here on a daily basis. So, here's today's video. Hey YouTube, it's me LaShawn, and I am here about to get ready to read my Bible. And so, I wanted to take a couple minutes just to say that some people read their Bible out loud on YouTube. Some people read their Bible silently, ASMR, uh, or those type of things. Some people read Bible verses, some people pray, and they do what works for them. And sometimes I pray out loud, sometimes I pray to myself, sometimes it's just me and God in this house all by myself. And regardless of how I decide to worship, I try to share that with as many people as I can here on YouTube because I don't think there's anything wrong with saying how you feel on any given moment, how happy you are, how joyful you are, how sad you are, uh, how disappointed you are. It doesn't matter. Uh, spreading the word of God is a good thing. And so it doesn't always resonate with everybody. And it's always people who find negative in anything that you do. And I find that uh, at first it just used to be very disappointing and very it's just was very hard but some people just don't get it you do what makes you happy and so I like to read the Bible before I go to bed and I've talked about that before I uh, like to get in the right frame of mind before I go to bed I don't like to take all of that junk to bed with me because when you take it to bed you wake up with it and that's how your day starts and I like to have good days I have enough stuff stacked against me. So what I try to do is start each day uh, happy and joyful. So if I go to bed on a positive note and try to get rid of all that negative stuff, it helps me for my next day. Okay? So if you're new here, i like to tell you about me and my Bible. This is my Bible case. This is an old Bible. This case is so old. I, I couldn't even tell you. This is my Bible case. And it's a zipper. This is the zipper right here. And I unzip it so I can show it to you. I have a very old Bible. And that's my notes right there. And this here. It's my Holy Bible, and this is the King James Version, and this is the Super Giant Print. <laughs> I have to laugh, the Super Giant Print, so it's very big. So as you can see, if I turn it here, you can see, see how big it is? And this is, uh, oh, that's heavy. This is the front of my Bible, and this is my name down here at the bottom. So I love my Bible. It's, uh, I wish I could have it in a smaller version in my purse and was able to keep it in my purse. And that would make my life easier. Do you know the last time I was at ICU, I didn't have my Bible. And um, they brought me this Bible. It was about this big. And the words were so small. And even with my glasses, I couldn't see it. And the, um, uh, he was trying to get me a magnifying glass. But by the time... It's, it's more, it's, it's, it's a long story. 
how things work in ICU and how things work in a hospital. And when you ask to speak to, um, when you want to pray and those type of things. And it's not, it's not just one person, it's more than one person. So anyway, we are about to get ready to read our Bible. So here's my... Okay, so let's get started. Find a Bible verse that relaxes you or find a Bible verse that encourages you or find a Bible verse that uplifts you, whatever, whatever your reason, whatever you need to get through a day. And so I always pick one and I use that one and I read that one and that is what helps me to sleep. And I think that today we're going to do 1 Chronicles 28.20. <sighs> yes, I think that'll be the one. Again, pick a Bible verse that works for you. Okay? So we're going to do 1 Chronicles 28.20. We'll start here at 20. And, and I'll just read this because I like to read silently to myself. But I think that I'll do one Bible verse. I'll do like one passage sometimes that I think might help to encourage somebody. Okay? So 1 Chronicles 28, 20. And David said to Solomon, his son, Be strong and be of good courage and do it. Fear not, nor be dismayed. For the Lord God, even my God, will be with thee. He will not fail thee. He will not forsake thee until thou hast finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. We thank you, Father God, for that Bible verse. We are so grateful today and every day that you give us this word, Father God. And we will sleep and meditate on this word tonight. 1 Chronicles 2820. We thank you, Father. And we thank you, Father, for another day. We are so grateful to you, Father God. And we thank you, Father, for another day. We are so grateful to you, Father God. We are so grateful for this word today as we prepare to get ready for bed, Father God. Thank you. I thank you for joining me today. I thank you for joining me as I read the Bible today. It's very relaxing and it's very soothing in it. It makes me feel better, and I pray that it will help you feel better, too. Now, no matter what's going on in your life, always take a moment to be grateful and be thankful. And before you go to bed is a good way to do it. I know I say wake up being thankful, but let's try to go to bed being thankful. You made it through another day. You thought you couldn't make it, but you did. You thought it was going to be a tough day. Maybe it was, but you still made it. You understand? So let's be happy and grateful that we made it through another day okay at this point i like to breathe in and breathe out and get my day started but i'm actually getting ready to go to bed so in case you're watching in the morning let's breathe in breathe out and get our day started you ready breathe in breathe out we thank you father god we are so grateful for this day, and thank you. I thank you, everybody, for joining me here. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. But look underneath this video right now. Stop what you're doing. Put it on pause. And look and see. It's a button that says J-O-I-N. You have to click that button. You have to join my channel and help to support me here so that I continue this YouTube channel. I want to keep doing this YouTube channel. Thank you, Father God. And so your joining the channel is less than a cup of coffee, and it will help me to continue and be prosperous. Okay? So wherever you're headed today, be happy, be joyful, and put a smile on your face. Okay? And remember that God loves you. You are special, and you are a child of God. Okay? 
So have a good day. Have a blessed day. And remember, God loves you. And so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon.